A hot air balloon is a good example of molecular motion in a gas. Well, let's look at some examples of molecular motion in solids and liquids. Molecular motion in liquids can be demonstrated with tropical fish. When they are fed, they know right where the food is and they swim to it in a very short time. This happens because of diffusion. Diffusion is a term which can describe the motion of a molecule in a liquid. Let's see an example of this. We will add one drop of food coloring to this glass of water. Watch as the color diffuses throughout the liquid. Every time you see someone add sugar to coffee or tea, the same principle is demonstrated. The fish are able to smell because some of the molecules of the food diffuse throughout the water in the tank, and the fish's keen sense of smell tell them which direction it came from. If you opened up a bottle of ammonia in a large room and then sat at the other end of a room, it would take several minutes for the pungent ammonia odor to reach you. Smoking is another good example of how the motion of a molecule affects us. The burning tobacco molecules must travel to our noses before we can smell them. The molecules incur many collisions with air molecules in the course of their travels, and each collision alters its path. The rate of diffusion depends on many factors, such as temperature, density of surrounding matter, and the dimensions of the space in which the substance has to travel. Diffusion doesn't happen as often in a solid state, but ice is a good example of how the motion of a molecule changes in a solid.